I will tell your future. Oh, we'll talk about on Valentine's Day. I will publish this on Valentine's Day. Well, that completely ruins my theme. I didn't have a theme. I'm oh kidding. goodness, kids! This is a big week. This is a very, very big week. There, I mean, I'm recording this on Friday, and this isn't even gonna hit the internet till Tuesday. So that is how big this week is. The biggest thing. I'm the hugest, hugest, hugest thing is, well, first, I've got to back up and let you know a little backstory about this. I have wanted to go to this place, not Sweden, for as long as I can remember. I mean, I've wanted to go to Sweden, too. This place that I'm talking about and Sweden have been the two, two places on my have to go before I die list. Sweden done and this place will be done in exactly 15 days from right now <sighs> today is the 10th of february on the 25th of this month i am leaving for london I have had a thing for London and all all of Great Britain from a very early age. I think it was a combination of um, seeing Titanic when I was six and loving it. And the B um, PBS used to broadcast BBC things at random. And I just remember watching them and loving them. I'm going with a group of girls that I met here. One's from Minnesota, <laughs> believe it or not. And the others are half and half, half American, half Canadian. And um, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. We'll be there the 25th through the 29th. Maybe I'll meet a doctor and get married in four days. I don't know if that's possible. Hey, it worked for Jack and Rose. You never know. Although Jack died. So, but that. <laughs> moving away from England. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm too excited. I mean, I'm, I'm going to England. <laughs> I can't believe that I get to say that. Anywho, the next thing is about death. Or, more specifically, death that happened a long time ago. So, nothing tragic right now. This week, I went... Well, I accidentally ended up in the Vecqua Cemetery. I was wandering around town and I realized that yeah, there it was, right there. And I'd wanted to go there, but I hadn't ever physically made the effort to. But then it just kind of appeared to me. So I went exploring throughout the tombstones. And sidebar, I love cemeteries. Love them. Is that creepy? Maybe. But anyway, so I was there and I was wandering and I came upon the mausoleum of Christina Nilsson. Christina Nilsson was a Swedish soprano, very, very good from the 1800s. But this is something that I forgot. She was Gaston Leroux's inspiration for the character Christine Daae in The Phantom of the Opera, which he wrote, and Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice later turned into a mega musical. So I read that and I was like, why did I not remember this? This is something that should be like right there, right there. This, these are the things that I remember. I remember useless facts, not useful things. But I think, I think it's really cool that she is buried Right here. Ten minute bus ride away from where I am. Not even ten. In so. other news of old things, I went to Teleborg Castle last night, which is the castle on campus, and there was a reception slash mini tour for the international students, and it's a really nice place. I, I said that it kind of reminds me of my house in South Dakota, 
Not because my house is a castle, but just because of the woodwork and because of, I don't know, the light, the lighting in it. It was built in the early 1900s, and you can Wikipedia it if you want to find out more, because it's not, it doesn't have, like, a deathly history. No murder, no gore, although they did sell it to something, some entity, for one kroner, which is, I think, about 15 cents in America. So, I would have bought it for that. I would have maybe even gone up to, like, three kroner. Maybe That's what I've got for you right now. There will be more. There will be... <laughs> there will be a lot more when I get back from England. So, you can expect the Bondo broadcast. PBS used to broadcast... Well, okay, my computer decided to ruin that moment. I should have prefaced that with what I was actually talking about. Things that have influenced why I like England. Atonement, Henry VIII, The Edge of Love, Helena Bonham Carter, Kate Winslet, Andrew Lloyd Webber, An Education, Notes on a Scandal, Henry VIII, Princess Diana. There's more. There's gotta be more. Ooh, Titanic. And Sweeney Todd. My hair is Mrs. Lovett hair. I hope you all like that.